Welcome to the Colibri project module 8, which is advanced, advanced applications and services. Welcome to the Colibri project module 8, which is applications and services. This presentation is about software as a service and its pricing. And we have four papers on software as a service and pricing. The first one uh, is about Wikipedia, general about software as a service. Then we have one more about the economics of service, just to say what kind of issues are related. We have different pricing strategies in the third paper and we have a more specialized pa paper on software as a ser service pricing strategies at last. The first one is software as a service, SAS. It's a licensing and delivery model, often referred to as on-demand software. Software as a service is an integrated part of cloud computing and we see that software as a service, how to think about it and how to apply it, it develops as cloud computing evolve in society. So to go a bit more into detail, we have the Wikipedia on service in general about the economic side of service. And this tells us that service is a general term, as a general term, is an intangible commodity, meaning that it's not in something not something we can hold as a gadget in our hands, but it's unique and it's one time and normally service delivery involves six factors. The service provider, often the people, the equipment used to provide the service, the physical facilities, the requesting consumer, other customers, and not especially customer contact. And to complicate the picture, services very often provided integrated with some items and goods. It's very rare to see service as an only intangible commodity. To go a bit deeper into this, we have the Wikipedia about pricing strategies. And uh, the pricing strategies tell us that a business can use a variety of pricing strategies when selling a product or a service. Uh, this paper lists 23 different pricing models. That's a lot, but we want to find out what is the real options available to us when we have uh, different items and uh, services that we want to set, set a uh, price for. And there is referred to nine laws of price sensitivity and consumer psychology uh, to fit these 23 different pricing models. First, reference price effect, then a difficult comparison effect, switching cost effect, price quality effect, expenditure effect, end benefit effect, shared cost effect, fairness, Effect and framing effect. So there is a lot of different op options and we see all of them uh, referred to and applied when it comes to internet and services. The last but not the least paper is Dieter and John writing about software as a service pricing strategy. And this paper discusses four key pricing models for software as a service companies. That's the main thing is the freemium model, which is commonly used, where you have the core service for free and charge for more feature. It can be capacity-based freemium, meaning free up to a threshold, threshold of use or volume. It can be feature-based freemium, some locked features which is unlocked when you pay. Time-based freemium, meaning that 
the functionality expires after a period and it can be used case freemium meaning that it's free for some user categories like we see some uh, software items is free for students for instance the second main model is consumption module meaning that you pay as you go so pay for use uh, we have the tiered model where we tie pricing pricing to uh, drivers of value and usage and we have the perpetual license model involving upfront payment plus maintenance support and service fees and then the paper list a decision framework for like selecting a pricing model meaning one of these four in a six step uh, procedure and then you should read the papers to be prepared for the quiz and when you have done so please continue with the quiz thank you